our home was burglarized last year, so we had it put in for extra security and peace of mind. Peace of mind until she met Jim Stickley of Trey Security. He's not a criminal, rather a security expert who thinks like one. If I was casing this place, you get a job like doing carpet cleaning or something like that. A low-level job that anybody can get a hold of. With the lay of the land, Stickley says the criminals would know ahead of time the security control box is just a few feet from the front door, which when opened has a 30-second delay before activating the alarm. You'd come into the front door, the locks on there are older locks, they'd be easy to pick. You'd walk straight in. The alarm system that controls the whole entire house is... 20 feet away, so you could walk right to it, crack the box open, and you're in. It's a tin box. I, I mean, it's, it's, a, you know, it's like a, a cardboard. I mean, you just take a screwdriver, and you can crack it open. It's nothing. Next, he disables the phone and power lines. That one, really just one is all that matters. That one, and that, and it's done. And the alarm company has no idea? No. And because they never got the call. In fact, oftentimes criminals disconnect the phone lines outside ahead of time. I'm disturbed, honestly. I mean, if you have a system, great, but if they could shut it off in seconds, it's not going to do me any good. At this home, the alarm is in the garage. Another no-no. I, I just have one of my buddies as a valet and just say, hey, you know, here's a hundred bucks, set me up the next time a car comes in, I want to hit one tonight. With your home address on the registration card, might want to black that out, an opener in clear view. The thief has an open invitation to your garage and home. On this one, if I just get in your garage, I close the garage, I got all night to, to figure it out. Right. Again, it's a cheap lock box. And they're really easy to get into, so now the box is open. Again, the phone and power lines are clipped or disabled. Wow, you're making it look really easy. And once again, Stickley is in the house as the alarm stays silent. Oh no! You did it! And that's it. Worst part here is he can reactivate it before leaving. And when the homeowner returns, they'll never know they were robbed. So on this one, I, I wouldn't probably steal like something really obvious. Instead, I would look through all of your files, I'd find your social security number, I'd find credit card numbers, I'd find information like that. For effect at our final home, Stickley puts on a service shirt, something criminals do to avoid neighborly suspicion. With the alarm activated, he simulates a front door break-in, and the race is on. That's the one. Problem here is the control box is all the way upstairs in a bedroom. There's just 30 seconds for a mad dash to the closet. And while the alarm goes off briefly, They won't be notified. I saw off the phone system beforehand. Stickley has once again beaten the system, but this time just barely. Obviously, you'd have to case this house ahead of time internally. There's no way you could rob this house and get the alarm shut down if you didn't know where that box was. And that box is well hidden. An unexpected lesson in security for our homeowners. Better now than later from a criminal. It's disturbing to see that when you think you're secure, you're really not. Stephen Luke reporting. Okay, so what can you do? Stickley says, like in that last home, put the alarm control box in a tough-to-find location upstairs if you can. Ask for as heavy-duty a box and lock as possible, too. Have your system backed up with a cell phone option so if the line were clipped, the alarm company still would get a call. Finally, he says the best option is an Internet notification because it's in constant communication between the system and security company and they will know if a line has been clipped.